If you were filthy rich, what would you still refuse to buy? Volcano insurance. Almost as good as cloud insurance. Anyone who got pandemic insurance is looking pretty smart right now. Anything that supports an MLM scam. MLM is how I'd be filthy rich in the first place slash s. Hey, I'm here to offer you the power of financial freedom. I made 90k last year working just from home. Selling Nutra Boom, the amino acid balancer, because you might have too much, or too little. Would you like to know more? Go on Brooklyn 99 hitting the nail on the head. Paying the £2 fee to take my money out of the cash machine. My bank reimburses mine. And they pay me more interest than my last bank. Should have swapped sooner. I made an extra $1,000 last year I wouldn't have with my other bank. I do agree that it feels extortionate but sometimes I can see it's justified. If it's a third party cash machine, not one owned by your bank, then they had to purchase slash make the machine itself, install it somewhere, which they may have to pay rent on, and maintain it, having someone to out to refill it etc. Those things are not free and if this is their business then they have to charge something if they are going to cover their costs and make a profit. You are paying for the service, the convenience of access to cash in that location. So I understand that. However if my bank owned a cash machine and charged me to use it, they wouldn't be my bank for long as that is unacceptable to me. Protection plan on video games slash electronics. I buy the cheap protection plans on some things. My phone's 3 year warranty was like $8. Why not at that point? The best way to buy an Xbox controller is on sale at Walmart, then get the protection plan for 6 bucks. When you inevitably get some wicked stick drift in 9 months, just go swap out your old controller for a new one for another 6 bucks. I probably wouldn't buy heroin, a human being or copyrighted movies. Lol you probably wouldn't buy a human being? That do escalated quickly. Tiny burritos. There is no excuse for making a tiny burrito. But what if you couldn't decide which burrito you wanted? You could buy a flight of tiny artisanal burritos. Do rich people eat tiny burritos? Expensive cat toys. My cat will continue to play with my phone charger. My ferret loves those Amazon bags. Every time I buy something small from Amazon, I tell her that I bought her a new toy. I open it, take out what I bought, and she gets so excited to play with the bag. My cats like their cat tree but they also like the box it came in. A shower. Then I just be rich, and that's no fun. Made me laugh, thank you. I don't get the joke skeptical can someone explain. A big house. Though I'd probably build a really luxurious small one. I never thought about a luxurious small house that sounds really cool now I want one. I have a fairly big house I am because I'm living overseas with my family and on the government's funding. It's not as homey or cozy as our old, smaller house. Plus there's a lot more to keep clean. It doesn't feel like a home, just a vacation house that's too big. A house with a ridiculous her monthly fee. Edit, to those trying to correct me, I don't care about the existence of an hoa, I care about how much it costs. But damn after reading what a lot of you have been through, maybe I should care. My husband and I have built our house in a community that has an hoa, but it's only $40 a month and they leave us alone. What prompted my comment is that the community next to us charges $350 a month and comes with pools, a rec center, parks and even a small lake, but that still wouldn't make me want to pay that much on top of my mortgage. And thanks for the awards. My very first. My wife, GF at the time, bought a chair on CL from a tenant at a condo in Chicago a few years ago. Everything about the transaction was great until we started loading up the truck. The surliest busybody I've ever met came out to harangue us about how any furniture moving, or transactions, it seemed, had to be done through her approval as the Hoa Queen. 
she kept trying to get us to reveal the culprit of this heinous crime against humanity, who had sold it. Laughing, we didn't. We told her she was an awful person and left, but it absolutely solidified our forever vow to never fall into an hoa trap. Edits, typos. When I was 16 my family moved into an hoa neighborhood. There was a common area with a nice walking trail in the back. I've always been pretty mild-mannered and have an inoffensive demeanor, even as a teen. One day I was walking along the trail after school, I see an elderly woman and I smile and wave at her. She immediately sneers and demands do you live here? And I was like huh, yeah? And she replied because this trail is only for people who live there and I was like okay. I do and just kept walking. She was the head of the hoa and the terror. Only power she probably ever had in her life. Anyway she had been skimming money and overpaying her friends for snow removal and was unseated by some more level-headed yuppies. So yeah no hoas for me. Even the yuppies had dumb rules about paint color. Tinder gold. I mean really if you were that rich you could attend events where you're gonna meet far better suited to your lifestyle people than what you'd get on Tinder anyway. Do people actually buy this? Reddit gold. I was given it once. Didn't even notice a difference said it guys this isn't some begging for gold shit. Stop giving it to me, for real. Save it for people who actually want it. Did you notice a difference this time? I always find it funny how reddit is anti-emoji, yet these same types seem to love giving awards. Literally paying for emojis. Milan on Disney Plus edit, wow. Thanks for the gold and all the other reddit gifts. I woke up to over 20.000 comment up votes. What a great start to the day. Thank you. Especially not considering how Disney literally thanked an organization actively participating in genocide in it. Disney is such garbage now. Selling out to China and China hating Mulan is such lols. But seriously, ruining Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King, and now Milan is unforgivable. Please use that money to create quality animated movies please instead of ruining already perfect ones. Diamond encrusted anything. I don't like glittery things and it just looks uncomfortable and heavy. I personally hate diamonds in general I don't find any reason for them to be so expensive and think it's completely dumb when people brag about having a diamond my husband got me a sapphire in my engagement ring and it's beautiful thing is people don't even know it's not a diamond so I don't understand how people insist on having a diamond when they could get a sapphire for less and the average person wouldn't know the difference. A mansion. What in the fuck am I going to do with 14 bedrooms? And can you imagine heating and cooling that bitch? No thanks. I'd build a 3 bedroom Cape Cod and call it a day. Yeah, I could see something like a 4 bed being ideal. A 6 bed would be huge but great if you lived someplace where people like to visit, like on the beach. 14 rooms is stupid. Depending on your definition. I don't think modern mansion have that many rooms. They have four fifths bedrooms that are really crazy, an awesome kitchen and entertaining area, and a theater slash reaction. <laughs> Nestle products. Fuck Nestle. This should be higher. Fuck Nestle. How does one avoid Nestle with all the companies they own? That would be like trying to avoid P&G slash Unilever slash J&J. Heroin easiest way to stop being filthy rich and become lifeless in the process. The drug is heroin. Heroin, ending in an E, is a female hero. I just have all my clothes tailor made. Perfect fit and exactly the way I want them. YouTube Premium. I watch a lot of YouTube and was considering buying premium, but I get the feeling that the recent ungodly ad spike is them trying to push premium and I don't want to let them think it's working. Edit, thanks to everyone who suggested Vance, just installed it and it's amazing. YouTube Vance all the way. Full price Pringles. Yeah but the off brand Pringles don't taste as good. TF, where I live, Texas, Pringles are pretty cheap. A yacht, 
Being rich doesn't mean my seasickness goes away with the snap of the fingers. If your yacht is big enough you won't feel the motion of the boat in the water at all. Money can buy drama mean. Water in bottles. In my country the tap water is 100% safe to drink. So buying water in bottles would be a waste of money, time and resources. Change my mind. Probably saw it here on Reddit but companies that sell water in plastic bottles don't produce water, they produce plastic bottles. Also, fuck you, Nestle, you motherfuckers are stealing from my state. I still stand by this too and won't buy it, but after I moved into a new area with bad tasting water, I understand a tiny bit more. Water his is potable but tastes so bad. Hadn't had that trouble before and I drink tap at hotels around the US too so I had drunk out of town before, just never anything as bad tasting as where I live now. And no, it's not my house, it's the whole city as far as I can tell at friends places and hotels around here. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.